on my YouTube. Down here bobbing the bottom of the D. Fishing down deep. Using the old 301 Mitchell. Vintage reel that was uh, sent to me. We're down here trying it out. Fishing one of these old vintages here. 301. I think the 301, I think every odd number is for right handed reel and every uh even number is for the uh standard left hand reel and anyhow we could try it out there we go little stump knocker what you doing on this a deep well it's the winter time and this water high so i'm gonna keep you what i'm using don't necessarily have to have it. this little pink jig head and I'm just using it for color but I'm breaking off a piece of night crawler and putting on there with that jig head and today I'm using a one quarter ounce piece of egg shot lead and we're trying to find where the fish is at the water's real high and that don't too much bother me but it's got a little bit of muddy tint to it. And that's what I don't like. But winter time like this, when them fish go down deep, if you can get up into some places out the hard running water, and when this river's up in the woods and all that flooded, you can still catch fish if that water ain't uh, muddied up. Anyhow, I thought I'd come down today try this reel out that Mr. Royals has sent me. Appreciate it, Mr. Royals. I don't know much about these vintage reels. But I, this one had a bigger foot on it. And it wouldn't fit on none of my other rods. But I had a 202 reel, an old rod that had a 202 on it. And I took the 202 Zebco off. And this piece here would screw up and screw over this foot good enough to hold it. But anyhow, we can fish with it some and see what we all we can catch off of this old vintage reel here. I think this thing's from the 50s. I don't know a whole lot about them, but I think this is from the 50s era. But anyhow, we could give her a try. Oh, a nice brim there. Didn't get the camera turned on in time to film him, though. Never he's biting. Yeah. Caught a little flyer here and that. It's been a while since I caught a flyer. Yeah, he's big enough to eat. Flyer don't get much bigger than that. He's got a pond over there. There's a little mole mouth starting to bite. Mm, I caught one kind of half size mole mouth. New spot, you two. Pull it down here a little different place and try on some of the water running so hard down here. Hopefully, it'll slow down some directly. All I'm doing is just letting it drop down and hit the bottom just out of that running water. And just picking it up a couple of inches off the bottom. 
Pick it up a couple inches off the bottom and just bob it up and down and let it sit still for a minute. Got one down there hit me. Uh, you tried it, I tried to snatch your teeth loose when you hit it. And he's running around a log. Uh, all right, we got him from around here. Some of them brim fast when they hit that thing. I want to hit it so fast and get that worm off there before you can move. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. About time. We're still catching them here, too. It helps the old Molly there. I think I've hung into one of them old mud fishes now on this old vintage reel. Built like an old mud fish anyhow. I don't think it's no cats. I don't know what I got the drag, so I don't need to because I haven't set the drag. have to be a big one. I don't think it's a cat. I think it's a mud. But it could be an old cat, though. I hope it's a cat. I don't feel like messing with one of them old mud fishes. Kind of pull like a cat now. Mudfish usually make a long run with it off there, but he keeps this and he keeps trying to go down. Unless that's one of them old puppy muds. That's a mud. Boy, that water was cold. Throw that water right in my face. Watch him wait for me to reach for him. my finger loose. Come on. I usually don't do that. He caught my finger at the right time. Well, Mr. Royals, the old, uh, the old, uh, Mitchell held him, Mr. Royals. What he did to my finger. 
And I usually don't get my finger caught in one of them things, Miles, but that one sure got me. I took a north log to one finally got me. That's why you don't put your finger in a mudfish's mouth. Oh. Got us an old nice brim here that time. At least it wasn't old mudfish again. I, them mudfish usually don't get me. I took many of them things off and I learned. But that one kick back and latch down on my finger so fast and I mean just sit down on it and just held it down. But, uh, at least we got us another old good brim there. seeds. We call them speckled perch. But this vintage Mitchell seems to be a good combination on this little short rod I got here. I took the 202 Zebco off of and made it work. But there's some pretty fish right there in speckled perch. But they got a red dot like a shellcracker has but well, they real speckled. -y. Ah, there you go. Good size spotted sunfish, stump knocker, whichever one you want to call him. Now, let's let you go back. That was a good eating size for them. They don't get too much bigger than that. Feel like a little bit nicer than this time. size brim here. I have to say today ain't been too bad of a day. This water to be flooded out in the woods. It got windy around there. I had to come to another spot to get out the wind. Maybe put a fresh worm on him, but while I'm in this little spot I'm gonna try this yeah, try this piece here. What we got this time? A little small baby mouth. I got to see. It'll be the first trip fishing trip of 2021. It started off pretty good. Got a little windy here this evening, but we just caught some fish, high water or not. Can't complain. Hey YouTube, we made it home. We could get the fish out of the box and see what we caught, but I've been excited to get down there and fish with the old vintage Mitchell, and I've got to get down there and use it some today. I enjoyed the way it fished. Got it set up on a little short rod, and it's kind of balanced out. You can fish with it, and uh, your arm don't get tired from holding it up or anything where I got it balanced. Anyhow, we can pull the fish out of here and we'll see what we got for the D. First fishing trip of the year. Enjoyed it. Glad was glad to be down there. A lot of them I didn't get on camera that I caught. Didn't get to get the camera turned on or something. But I got what I could get. A lot of them ain't monsters, but some of them little um, spotted sunfish, but they don't grow too big anyhow. But they're good eating. But for the water to be so high and everything, we did okay. Another nice brown there. And then the old big mud. Man, pull this old big mud out of there right now. But this is what we call a 
what I call a puppy mud. A little small mud fish. I call them a puppy mud because they're still young and small. And they're good eating if you get them this time of the year. They're okay eating. They ain't spectacular, but they're okay to eat this time of the year if you want to eat mud fish. But sometimes I'll keep them little small ones like that, to, especially them little puppy muds as I call them, young mud fish. But anyhow, that was our trip, first trip of the year. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I know I did. Catch you out there the next time, YouTube.